welcome back to part two of the adventure in London with Mestiza, who I met on MySpace. It was cool to just sort of meet her randomly, and we went and checked out Buckingham Palace. And of course, we ran into Toby on the streets, who was doing a tour guide, so it was fun to find out all the information from him about certain things. And that's where we picked things up, Downing Street, the home of the English or Great Britain Prime Minister. And uh, yeah, pretty well secure there. You can't get through. I think he used to be able to in the old days, but now with everything going on, you can't. But that's where he lives in London and uh, it was fun to just check out all the random things. There's all these soldiers in this sort of castle area next door and horses and Mestiza went in there and sort of checked it all out but uh, as with everything that's always random when you've got a camera we saw this protest happening on the street and this is what it was all about. never know what you're going to see on the streets, but it's good to see sort of people power in those aspects. But uh, always fun walking around beautiful London and uh, there you go, the Princess of Wales Memorial Walk and of course Trafalgar Square, world famous and just the architecture that surrounds it. But uh, when we got there, there was another sort of protest happening this time about Zimbabwe. And on this International Women's Day, send our sisterhood and solidarity to the women of Zimbabwe and support the struggle for decent work, decent life for women all over the world. But we can look forward to, to the day that is coming in which the Mugabe regime will be consigned to the dustbin of history and liberty and democracy will be won for the people of Zimbabwe. Let's look forward to that day together. Thanks for listening. So once again, pretty cool to see that sort of stuff. It reminds me of uh, V for Vendetta, which is one of my favourite films. But uh, getting back to just the beautiful sights and sounds of London and Trafalgar Square. It used to be famous for all the pigeons and stuff. But uh, they've cleaned that up, I guess. But, um, you know, you can check out the buildings there. It's just absolutely amazing. And Nastasia and I continued our walk over. We weren't sure what we are going to do next. But we hit the River Thames and uh, checked out all the sights there, which again... Big Ben in the background, pretty cool stuff to see. And we saw the London Eye, and it was the first time I'd seen it. There it is there. It's just amazing. It just stands out. And to see those people all the way up, we just knew we had to do it. So we made our way over, and on the way, enjoyed some of the artists that perform on the streets here in London. fun afternoon in London and all the different uh, musicians and street performers that you see there along the River Thames. Um, so much work goes into the designs, their costumes and makeup. I can just imagine these guys getting ready and arriving there for their job, I guess. That's how they make their living. So um, it's pretty cool to walk by and check it all out. And of course, the Salvador Dali exhibition was on as well, so that's incredible. But um, it was fun to be on the London Eye. It cost about £15 and when we got on, we had a chat. Well, here we are on the uh, Eye, right? Is that what it's called? The London Eye, yeah. Tell us the background of your name. What's the uh, the meaning of Mestiza? Mestiza. Mestiza is the word for if you're mixed race. Uh, it's originally a Spanish word. They use it in the Philippines because okay. obviously a lot of Spanish uh, came over to the Philippines. That's why it's called Philippines okay. after King Philip. I didn't know that. Spain. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, it was a it was a Spanish province. Um, so yeah, a lot of Filipinos are mixed Spanish. My mum's derived from Spanish. Um, and yeah, and you're mis and basically when the Spanish, uh, you know, got a bit friendly with some of the Filipinos, or maybe even raped them in some cases. Yeah, um, they'd call their offspring mestizos or mestizos. You know, when they're mixed white and Filipino, and then it just became sort of known anyone that's mixed white and Filipino, because I'm not, I'm not half Spanish, I'm half English, half Filipino. So, okay. so that's the origins of the name. And uh, yeah, I mean, even though it's sort of like a racially derived name. Um, I'm, you know, proud to be mixed race, and it just kind of stands for, you know, just being mixed in general and 
the whole thing about being between borders and merging different cultures and stuff is kind of, you know, it's, it's more common today in today's society. So. You ever been here before? No, I haven't. I'm really excited. I want to get to the top. The views from the top are just amazing and I thought I'd pick a great English band in Oasis and put a montage together. Fun day checking out all the views, especially that one because it kind of started there at Buckingham Palace and there's Mestiza as well. But um, we decided to go back to her house and check out her doing her thing on the piano, but I can't remember the name of the town. I think it was West something, but uh, here we are in her room. She sat down at the piano and got ready to do her thing. That's it. I just love to be able to do that. It's pretty easy. I'll teach you if you want. Yeah, no, 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 so after a bit of a warm up, Mestiza got ready to uh, show me one of her songs. You can check them all out on a MySpace page there, Mestiza UK. But uh, here's one of her songs, Show Me The Way. That's awesome. <laughs>